This presentation will be on Rudolf Dreikers and his theory on the four mistaken goals of misbehavior and will be presented by Kelsey Bursaw. Dreikers four mistaken goals of misbehavior are one, attention, two, power, three, revenge, and four, avoidance of failure. First, let's start on a little bit of background information on our theorist. Rudolf Dreikers was an American educator and psychologist. Um, he adapted this theory based on his shared work with his colleague Alfred Alder, and they mainly focused on individual psychology. Um, with, this with this theory, he believed that children acted out because their social needs were not being met. He also believed that this theory was not based on a reward system, but rather on the natural consequences that followed these behaviors. He also believed that encouragement is the most important tool to building relationships and improve these mistaken behaviors. The first behavior is attention, or a child who is an attention seeker, as some would call it. This child believes that their self-worth is correlated with how much attention they are receiving. Hence, this child goes out of their way to make sure all eyes are on them. For the classroom applications, I wrote out short scenarios for each behavior. In this instance, Mrs. Jones is teaching a lesson on subtraction, and Sarah keeps making silly noises and looking around the room to see if anyone is laughing. Sarah is trying to gain the attention from her classmates away from her teacher in this instance. The second mistaken goal is power. This child feels as though their self-worth is diminished if they comply to others. So this may be shown through disobedience when being told to do something by their teacher or fellow classmate. For this scenario, Mrs. Jones assigned a presentation project for her English class. When Josh finished his presentation, Mrs. Jones and the rest of the class clapped for him. However, Joanna dramatically clapped slowly and stated, yes, what a wonderful use of spelling and grammar mistakes. In this instance, Joanna is trying to put herself above Josh academically. The third mistaken goal is revenge. This child feels that they need to utilize their hurt and project that onto others, hoping it will make them feel better. This is often represented with a lot of hostility and aggression. Dreikers claims that these are the children who need positive attention and encouragement the most. On to the next example. Before class, Becky looked Joanna up and down, admiring her outfit. However, Joanna took that as Becky judging her, so Joanna started screaming and getting up in Becky's face. Joanna misinterpreted Becky's glances and decided to utilize hostility to show her dominance in the situation. The final mistaken goal is avoidance of failure. This child feels discouraged and overall tries to avoid responsibilities. This student has a severe fear of failure and decides it's better to fail sooner rather than later. For this classroom example, Andy has been super stressed out about the upcoming exam. However, Andy also hasn't done any of the worksheets to help prepare for the exam. Andy is choosing to give up before he has even had the chance to fail. Dreikers had a few suggestions of how teachers could handle these mistaken goals. First is to identify which mistaken goal is being used. Second, address the mistaken goal and explain why that goal is not going to get the student what they want. And third is to make sure that they're to avoid a power struggle with the student. And these are my references.